Now, the Ministry of Tertiary Affairs has earmarked 300 million Ugandan shillings to facilitate the construction of Aloha Seed Secondary School in Kabila Maidu District. Minister of State for Tesla Affairs, Dr. Kenneth Ongalo Bote, says his ministry is committed to improving the quality of learning environment in Tesla subregion. Alua Seed Secondary School in Kabramaido district has been operating under the dilapidated temporary structures and sometimes under trees since its inception. The students were there, they needed education, but we couldn't wait for the school to be constructed. We started, the government came in and started with the biggest task of paying the staff. So that made our, our work very easy. The sorrow state of the school attracted the attention of the Minister of Test Affairs for financial intervention for its facelift. So this 300 million is going to give us four classroom blocks. It's a four classroom block and then an office and then some five stanza, uh, the toilet of, with the five stanzas. The school management is now expecting an increase in the school enrollment after the completion of the new structures. We are going to have, we are going to have, a, the, num, the enrollment is going to go up because we are bordering Dokolo. And uh, Dokolo is our neighboring uh, district, so we shall get a number of students from there. The Minister for State for Test Affairs, Dr. Kenneth Ongalo Obote, says his ministry is committed to improve the quality of learning environment in Teso sub region. We've done a lot of work in Teso since we, 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 we uh, took over this ministry. Uh, we have um, a school in Kapele Biong. We have a school in Kandaki, we have a school in Suroti, we have another one in, in Mora, and uh, today we have this one and many others. Ongalo was presiding over the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction in Alua sub-county, Cabramaido district. Meanwhile, the Minister of Test Affairs has also supported the district with another 300 million shillings for the rehabilitation of Kobulubulu Okle Road worth 10 kilometers. So there is a gap here. Almost a lacuna. They do not have enough funds to work on this road. Ministry of Works works on this one, and yet most of their revenue is lying here, untapped. And once we open this road for them, they will be able to tap it. That is the meaning of affirmative action. The road is said to be paramount in boosting tax base of the district by linking the traders to Okile Weekly Market and Landing Site. Joseph Oko, UBC. Now plans are underway to pay off the landlords under the land fund, a move which will secure tenancy and occupancy. This was part of the communication by the lands minister, Judith Nabakova, who has